The first time I heard the calls of the howler monkeys in the Amazon is a memory I will never forget. I find their voices to be mysterious and haunting. At the time, I had no idea that the howler monkey is a target for poaching and the wild pet industry. Today, we get to visit a sanctuary for orphaned howler monkeys. This should be fun, especially if I get to hold one. Magali Salinas resides in Tambopata and runs a shelter for the rescue and rehabilitation of confiscated or abandoned wild animals, in particular, howler monkeys. People usually uh, kill the mother and take the howlers like pets in house and they don't know which is the, uh, the best uh, diet to give it, so most of them usually die, because most of them uh, came with a lot of problems. Some has attacks, panic attacks, the others saw probably how the people kill the mother, or probably how they eat the mother, and they abuse with the little ones, with the babies, they hit the babies, so most of them are really afraid or they came uh, with bullets in their arms, or broken arms, or broken legs. To release animals, or to rehabilitate, it took more than five or six years sometimes, because you, you need to, to make the animal be healthy, and healthy in the, the body, and healthy in the mind. And there is a little place in Lima, that when you get inside, you can get all kind of wild animals. You just ask it for a monkey, a tiger, and a macaw and everything. And that is very bad because the government knows perfectly that. So we've been trying to close that places and we can do nothing. It was two years of fighting. We hope that in the future, because we work in conservation of wild animals, first to let know the people that uh, it's better don't have wild animals like a pet. Why? Because there's a lot of sickness and problems when the animal is uh, ground big. Because if this continues like that, or all the kind of animals, wild animals that the people are killing all the time, in the future we are not going to see more wild animals. If we don't conserve our plants, our woods, our forests and our animals, wild animals, we are not going to have nothing to show. 